Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. Once a week, I pick some topic of interest in C++ and dig into it with some live coding. In this episode, I'm going to discuss const expert if statements, which were just voted in for C++ 17. Now, for this demonstration, I had to make a very up-to-date build of Clang from GitHub to be able to test this feature, as it's currently the only compiler that supports it. So the question is, what is const expert if? And quite simply, what it does is allow you to choose at compile time one or more different branches to take in your code. So you might have something like this code, where we have a template that can take anything. And let's see, we're just going to keep it simple right now. We're going to do something like something like this, and we're going to take this t by const reference, whatever it is. And we want to be able to determine at compile time what to print here. Now this is a pretty uh, pretty boring example to get us started. So over here on another tab we'll build. And we want to build with Clang, and we want to set our standard to C++ 1Z, I believe, and context for if. And pretty straightforward, we get two different things that are printed. Is integral, is not integral. Now, the problem with this is there's really this particular example. We don't need to know that this is this doesn't need to be a const expert thing. So we want maybe to do something a little bit more interesting. Let's do auto return type deduction. And we'll say that if this is integral, then we want to return. the value plus one. And if it's not, we want to return the value zero plus one, uh, point zero one. So as you can see, we can take multiple branches at compile time right I had removed the const expert if so this is an important point here we wanted to use return type deduction but in this case it's returning an integer in this case it's returning a floating point in the case that we're passing 5 in because this is going to be automatically promoted to a floating point here on line 10 so if we put in this const expert, then we get branches chosen at compile time. And we can see we added 1 to our 5, and we added 0.1 to our 1.2, and we get 6 and 1.3 as expected. So this is, this is pretty darn cool, and you can do multiple branches. So say we want to, if it's an integral, do something. If it's a float, we want to do something. Otherwise, we just want to return the value back. So what happens if we pass in, say, a bool, or say a const character? Oh, no, we get compile time errors. Oh, and I passed in a type name here instead of a value. 
All right, very good. So we see we get 6, 1.3, 2, and hello world. That's because true is integral. So we are choosing this branch at compile time. So we could do something like if integral and not is same bool t value and not is same. There we go. So we're no longer adding one to our Boolean. And this is all doing exactly what we expected to do now. So the point is, in this whirlwind example, is if we've got a const expr here in our if block, then at compile time it chooses which branch to execute. So at compile time, what we're getting for the first value where we pass in 5 is essentially a function body that looks like this. And then on the next one where we pass in a floating point, our function potty compiles down to just this. And then when we pass in a boolean or our string, the function body compiles to simply that. So it's highly efficient and it can actually make some compile time difference in the experiments that I've made. But the important thing to note that I think is interesting here is in our else Let's say, no, in our is integral and is same, let's say we want to do something like it is integral and numeric limits of t min is less than, let's say, 1,000. If we want to do this, I personally, and maybe some others, would expect that the compiler is going to do some sort of short circuiting and say, well, this is not integral, so I'm just going to continue to the next const expr block. And that is not entirely what you're going to get. You're going to get a compile time error. Because our hello world being passed in, which is a const car star, does not have a numeric limits specialization. And what you end up with is a compile time error because the compiler needs to be able to evaluate this entire expression so that it knows if it can continue on and implement this block on line 10 or line, excuse me, line 9 or 911 or line 13. So this doesn't work. So if you really wanted to do something like this, you would need to do another const expr block and say if our numeric limits are equal to this and then we want to do a return but technically what we have here is not exactly the same thing that we did I and mean, what we have is something that compiles should oh Okay, now we have something that compiles, and as we can see, let's double check, put this up here. It no longer compiles again because there is no numeric limit specialization for const car star. So this is what we have. And this works, but it's not doing what we originally intended because we wanted this top if block to only be executed if all three of these conditions were true. We wanted to say it's an integral and it is not a Boolean and its minimum value is less than a thousand for whatever type was passed in. Then we want to return t plus one. Otherwise, we want to go into these other blocks. And what we're going to end up with instead is this first block will be executed. And then this block will not be compiled in because we're passing in a value that has a minimum of greater than 1,000. So let's, for the sake of our example here, add another call 
to our increasingly misnamed function, print type info. And we're going to say that we want this to be a, say, a car. For example, this is min, max, there we go. So what we have now is we have this first block is compiled, is chosen at compile time, then this nested if is chosen at compile time, is not chosen at compile time because the max is greater than a thousand, and then that means that we have our implied else right here, which is basically returning void. And we get a compile time error down here. So if we really wanted to do code like this, what we need to create is another function. So now with this function, true is returned if both of these conditions are true, else false is returned. And now, because this is a const expert function and we have const expert if blocks inside here, then we can do something like and now we get the behavior that we wanted without any compile time errors. But there you go, this is in a nutshell is what const expert if can give you. And I will be making another short episode where I give some real world examples of how this can clean up some of the implementation that I have of ChaiScript. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.